this book belongs to me. Journal. Is it okay if I call you that? It's a bit formal, I know, but we've only just met. Let me introduce myself. I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. My little brother Ben calls me Isbo. I call him he who chews curtains. He likes red for breakfast and blue for dinner. And then there's... Mom, my top tea drinking buddy. my tea and this is Pinky. I think she's jealous of you, Jano. Today's my birthday. Dad made his best cake. Mum and Gran started the singing. Ben gurgled along. I blew out the candles. made a wish. Since I was little, I've always dreamed of becoming a writer. This is where you come in, journal. A writer writes. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. I guess that birthday wish was a waste then. said writing is about exploring your thoughts. It helps you unlock your feelings. I'd like to write something that will make Gran smile. She always talks about little acorns growing into big trees. Is that to make me feel better about my height? I want to write a story, but what kind? A romance? Science fiction? A comedy? A drama? Fairy tales? Wait, we're getting somewhere! A fantasy story! my fantasy story. 
Once upon a time... Ugh. No one said this would be easy. Again. From the top. Not so far away. In the land of... Astoria. A place of peace and magic. There lived a girl named... Grace. Everyone knew her by the bright color of her purple dress. She was ready to begin her adventure. In fact, she'd been preparing for it her whole life, for she was the only apprentice of the village guardian, Elder Ava. Everyone was very fond of Grace. Her heart was full of curiosity and compassion. The villagers agreed that no one was... as playful as her. Too far away in the land of Astoria. There lived a young girl named Grace. She was playful and loved using her wit and imagination. Suddenly, a faint speck of light floated down Hello, little fox. and you... began to oh, buzz oh, that... around Grace. The firefly shared Grace's excitement. We should pick up my gaming mug. They are all... This marble fell from a passing star. Right. This one's almost as pretty as you, Firefly. Almost. Come on, Firefly! The village is just a bit further down. Whoa! I love doing that. The bridge was an old, creaky affair. Careful, Grace. Careful. Grace imagined shark fins circling below. Phew! We made it, Firefly. And... Grace knew many secret paths back to the village. Like this one. She loved feeling the roots around her as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. Nearly there, Firefly. One more little slide. Here we go!
the old cargo lift, barely used. Her own secret entrance to the village above. Grace couldn't wait to show her Firefly the village. Maybe run on the rooftops or prank the village builders. Look, Firefly. Birthday, Grace. I've made it. One of our sacred fu- This is a very special thing. It does th Yes. Would you fetch me that box, please? Ava was sure that Grace would rise to the occasion. Some will stay with you. Other uh, they will help now. Can God put that God you sh I'll Oh before a little Elder Ava reached inside her pocket and handed Grace a gift. Ava's Ruby Now my magic book and all at once grace was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life cargo duty all the time. Oh, if that's it, I'm just looking at it. Grace loved throwing stones over the rooftops. But not today. Look, Grace has the book. Oh, today, miss. the Firefly Shrine was waiting. She looked over her bustling treetop village. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. This was all she knew. Yeah, Elder Bassus gave me a poultice. Did it work? Cleared it right And up. it was home. Looks better than ever. Smell that. That's the scent of paradise. I can always use more paradise. Takes in. But inside, she was still curious. Hey, Grace! Happy birthday! No, you can't have a magic book. Good to see you, Grace. But Grace has one. Well, that's different. She's special. But you say I'm special. Careful, careful. No need to rush. About the world that lay beyond.
seen that book for a while, Grace. You have to see the fireflies. Let me get the key. Ah! Blast! Grace couldn't wait to see the fireflies. Soon they bless her as new village guardian. What's being guardian going to be like, Firefly? I hope it's adventurous. Let's swing into adventure. Grace crawled through the dank, dark tunnel. It didn't feel like being hugged at all. bell to announce her arrival. At last, the tree was in sight, home to the fireflies, whose ancient energy kept the village safe from harm. Go on. Show them what you can do. That's it? They're accepting their new guardian. At last, I can get a lion. Glowing light surrounded her. A timeless energy. The birth stars. And forged suns. Now she was part of it. And so Grace became the new Firefly Guardian, but her biggest adventure was yet to come. Hello, Journal.